welcome back to our channel accounts gurukul learn accounting online as we said that whatever we do we want to share with all of our viewers and uh, when we are preparing one excel sheet for our trainee to do some assignment related to create the gl code into the sap so we thought to create some data validations and use some if conditions for that so that's going to be give the some more uh, knowledge to our trainee and our viewers as well so here we are going to use the data validations and in addition to that if conditions as well so we have considered the few gl which we want to create into the erp and to create that what is the nomenclature is required for that so we have considered the four as a broad group that's a gl group for asset liability income and expenses and we want to give it to the data validation and uh, uh, you have to select it from the drop down and the condition is going to be there and the remark if it's correct then remark is going to be you also smart and if it's incorrect then if you want to get ahead be taken it seriously and if it's a blank then system will give the remark to select from the drop down and other than drop down there is no any other option to select and you have to create a such kind of excel sheet and give it to your team to do the exercise so do the work on that then how you are going to do that so that's what we have to do through the data validations and we have to use the if conditions for that and how is going to be knowing that it's one of the essential skill for us to grow into the accounting and finance so it's essential for you to know more about that so we are here so what do we have to do we have to create a condition here and here what remarks you want to give it there you have to update here that's a blank and next is going to be liability then assets and you want to give it to income and the next is expenses what do you have to do here you have to come here and from here you have to use the validation that's the data validations from here you have to select the list and from the source you have to give the range and you have to click on okay then the data validation is there into the place you have to do the copy paste of this till the end so your data validation is so your data validation is into the place and if you are trying to update other than what is there if you want to update smart then system will give the error for that because system will say you are not smart here the condition has been applied that data validation is there and you have to follow that the same thing what we have provided the options from that you have to choose if you want to be more smart then the option is not here so that kind of conditions you can able to do it and this sheet also you have option to hide it or you have the option for put the controls over there as well that we will see in future but now here you have to select the blank for all that's as a by keeping as a blank so we have to select it from here either it's a income or it's expenses or liability or assets so that's we have to select it from the drop down then how its condition is going to be work here from the remark so what you have to use that if you are going to use here and here's the two conditions of if you are simultaneously using here one is if whatever saying that if the c column is equal to whatever is updated here is equal to if it's a blank then what remark you want to be updated there so you are asking them to select from select nature from select nature from drop down so you are giving instruction to them if it's a blank select nature from drop down this is for one condition and if you close this bracket what you are able to see here the everywhere you are able to see select nature from drop down the condition is there we have given the condition if in the c column it's mentioned blank and remark is auto populated here that's a select nature from drop down now we need to know that if 
anybody select here something other than this, if it's a liability, then system will give the error says that false because in the conditions we have utilized only the blank and the remark is select from the drop down and else system will throw the error as a false. So you can check here as well. It's showing the blank select nature from the drop down, but that same if you want to select here as well, any other account that's income system through the remark, show the remark as a false. So now what we need to do here, so it's blank is going to be remain as it is. Other than that, out of the four, some remark is need to be select here. And if it's correct, what do you want to show the remark? And if it's incorrect, what do you want to show the remark? And if it's a blank, what remark should be there? So that's all conditions. That's a conditional formula of if you have to use here. So it's an if you already added the sum formula. That's if C4 equal to blank, then select nature from drop down. Now, again, you are going to use the if, then the C4 equal to this should be the income that's the right answer if it's income then system will sh show the remark you are so smart and if it's incorrect then what remark is you want to show to your team that's if you want to get ahead be taken seriously and this bracket close. Yes, so first it's showing that for all since it's a blank, so showing that same select nature from drop down. Now you have to select it from here and this is a seat if you have provided to your team and ask them to update the GL nature from this description of GL code. So you can see here that's a GL code description. So this is going to be your GL code that's description. And here you are giving the remark nature of GL or group of GL. You can see group of GL. And it's a remark. Now you have to select this is a sale of goods, and you have to choose either this is going to be income, expenses, or for us it's liability, or for us it's assets. What's there? It's going to be income because we are doing the sale for our business. So whatever we are doing the sale, that's our direct income. And here we have created the group from the drop down is liability, assets, income, expenses. And if you select liability or assets, then system will throw the error as if you want to get ahead, be taken seriously about your career. And if you have selected the correct one, then system will show here that formula will give the result is that you are so smart. So this way you can able to use or you can use the if conditions. It's, it's related to only not this one group of GL and data, data validations. So wherever you want to use the if as a conditional formula, then you have to use the way what you have, we have used here. Now we know till the, these are all are going to be considered from the expenses. Then you have to change here that same formula. First, you have to do the copy paste till the end. And, and here, if you observe, we have the formula is entirely provided, but how the system is going to be work here. The first formula itself, the first if condition is going to be check only the first formula. If blank is there, then system will show the result as select from drop down. And if the first condition, first condition criteria is not match, 
then system will jump to the second condition. The first, if it's not blank here, first system will go based on this formula, check here, either this C5 is equal to blank, then system will show select nature from drop down. And if blank is not here, then system will jump for the next formula. Then again, system will use the second condition formula is that if C5 is equal to income, then show the result you are so smart. And if not, if you want to get ahead, be taken seriously. So that's a two conditional formula we have used here. So as many as you can use the E formula for your conditional validations for use the conditions. So this is the example of a combination of the two condition and always system will do the focus on the first condition because that we have given at a first. So system will check the first that condition criteria is either meeting. If it's not, then system will jump to the second condition. If the second condition also is not matching, system will jump into the third conditions. So as many as conditions you can able to queue through this if formula. And it's very essential for us to know because we are into accounting and finance and we know how much we have to do the crunch of data through the Excel. And as much as we are good through this, all the formulas, that's going to be make our life easier and it's going to be helpful for us to push our career. So this is the one formula. That's the one is data validation. Second is remark with two conditions. Similarly, now you know here you have to, these items are going to be income, but from here it's going to be changed as expenses. So here, instead of income, you have to change that as expenses. So if you select here as expenses, you are so smart. And if it's not, then system will show the errors is that if you want to get ahead, be taken seriously. And if it's a blank system will show, select nature from drop down. And this, you have to do the copy paste till your bank charges. And from here, again, your answer is going to be changed towards liability. And here till it's expenses then from here it's going to be changed as liability to till office equipment and now here if you have to change again that as assets then it's going to be work and if you select here as asset system will show that you are so smart. And if you select liability, system will give the error. If you want to get ahead, be taken more seriously. So by this way, you can able to use the conditional formatting for proof and for the remark as well. So that's all from this video. And this formula is here. So you can refer this formula and so this formula, you can able to do the practice at your end. So that's all from this video. And I hope now you guys are able to use the conditional data validations and the condition formula as well to do the more analysis into the Excel through the Excel formula three one. Thanks guys for watching the video till the end and request viewers to like the video share the video, join with us and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance. Thank you. And in addition to this, if you have any different formula or if there is any more other easiest way to use that, so you can put it in the comments. So we'll, we'll try to create the video on that as well to give the more clarity to all of our viewers. So, Thank you. Thanks again for watching the video till the end.